Hi guys, Robo46 here, welcome yourselves back to Ride 4 on the Xbox One X. It's time to do our final European League challenge, which is the first step in the competitions. So, oh, it looks like we're actually doing a championship this time. So, uh, it says one event, but we've got three races to do. First one at the Nürburgring GP circuit, then Alton, and then Imola. So, we're on a racing spec R6. That's all fine. Okay, so I haven't actually had to buy this bike. It's given us this bike to use. So uh, let's see what we can do. All the races are five laps. Here we go. First race underway. Not the best of starts. Fifth position at the moment. And uh, now we're down to sixth. Is he going to take a load out? Oh, no. No, he's fine. In fact, he's going to go up to second. So that was pretty spot on from uh, the guy who's now in second place. Now I'm up to third. Can we get into second? No, he's uh, protecting that line. Through the next corner. Not able to get through yet. This is the full GP circuit, so we've got loads of time as he goes into the lead. Oh, no, he's crashed. He got it really wrong on the brakes there. Properly got the rear wheel locked out. Oh, and that's, the lead has just done exactly the same as well. Oh, <laughs> and I got distracted by him and uh, ended up in the gravel. So, two people that got into the lead have both crashed out. Both had the same kind of moment where they just locked up the rear a bit too much. That's the trouble with the rear brake on this game, is it just brings the rear wheel round too much and uh, causes you to crash, that's why I've had to uh, adapt my riding, or my play style I should say, uh, more than what I, I usually do. On the MotoGP games I use a hell of a lot of rear brake, but on this, I can't use it, because if I use the rear brake, it just causes me to crash. The rear brake, personally, I'm finding pretty useless at the moment, um, so staying well away from it but we lead as we come towards the end of lap one of five up towards the chicane for the first time just about got it stopped into there okay i think that uh, they, they actually put a statement out saying that there is an update coming for the game um i think it may already be out on pc uh about the time trials being a little, little bit more lenient if you touch the grass and stuff like that I mean penalties altogether need to be uh, a little bit more lenient especially if I like you just go on to a curb which you're allowed to use sometimes you get given a penalty for it albeit a small one but it's still a penalty nonetheless so updates for this game will be coming hopefully they'll be coming thick and fast because there's quite a lot of things that need fixing with this game Obviously, the, the time trials, I know lots of people have been having troubles with the time trials. I personally haven't had too many issues with the time trials. We'll see what happens when we get to the uh, the next couple of leagues. But so far, time trials have been fine for me. Some people are struggling with uh, hitting the times. Um, but yeah, the, the penalty system needs a bit of an overhaul. The rider's animation needs uh, adjusting. Oh, that was nearly in the gravel there. Changing of uh, direction needs uh, speeding up a little bit. Still a little, well it is a little bit slower than what it should be in my personal opinion. Okay, coming up to the next corner. Oh, that's too hot, that's too hot. Okay, we got it stopped though. We got it stopped, so that's fine. Yeah, frame rate as well needs uh, optimizing a bit better because uh, like I said, even on performance mode on the Xbox One X with the uh, motion blur set on low, still getting frame stutters. I'm looking forward to seeing how this game runs on the next generation of consoles. That'll be interesting to see. Obviously, we don't get the, the full optimization for next gen until January. But uh, this game will run on the, the next gen from day one. It just won't have uh, all the bells and whistles, so to speak, um, until January. When they're aiming for 4K 60 FPS. Okay, 
But at the moment, we've got a 3.7 second lead, so... Yeah, it is a shame that uh, the two riders that were ahead of me at the time on lap one both crashed out. Both had this similar sort of crash, like I said, a rear end. Both had rear end crashes. First one was into this corner. He went in a way too hot, put the rear brake on, and that was it. The rear stepped out. Second one, similar sort of thing. I was underneath him, and then he put the rear brake on and uh, went down. So this is good for me for the first race of this championship, three race championship, five laps each. Oh no, I've just clipped the gravel, I've gone down and we've lost the lead, we've lost the lead there. We were literally like inches away from saving that but uh, just dropped off the edge of the track into the gravel. And now we've got some work to do. Shouldn't take us too long to get back in front, I don't think. Nah, he uh, messed that corner up anyway. So, uh, try and uh, get the run on him. Take a nice uh, wide sweeping line. And here we go. Back into the lead we go. And that is the lead again. We, we've got a uh, few laps to try and build it back up again. Couple of laps to try and build it. Into the final corner. Two laps to go. We've already built our lead back up to point. Well, a second now. Oh no! I think uh, second place has just crashed out because it was a British guy and now it's a uh, Portuguese guy. So, uh, yeah. The guy who was in second seems to have uh, crashed into the final corner and that has given me over a two second lead now. So that's, uh, yeah, the AI. They've had a few crashes in this race, haven't they? That's three that I know of. I mean, it is good that the AI are a little bit more human-like, but it's not so good that they are, you know, dumber than, than humans. So, still got work to do with the AI. Still got work to do with them. And it's not a case of... You know, they're still learning. They've done how many laps? How many hours did they say? Like, a stupid amount. So they should definitely know the basics anyway. Um, if not more. But they just... They, they don't seem to have very good spatial awareness. Um, sometimes you can go up the inside of them. And you still leave them a lot of room. Where if they were still cranked right over. They would be absolutely fine but then they decide to sit up and go off track it's like you don't really need to do that it's, it's almost like they've gone the other way that ai when the ai used to before they introduced anna they used to lean on you which used to cause you to crash now they've gone the other way of like literally avoiding you like the plague if you got the inside of them um but yeah they, they still go into the back of you which is annoying we had that happen to me um, a couple of videos ago at Imola when I was using the Suzuki GSX-R600 and on lap 1 we got hit in the rear and uh, we went down. Still managed to recover though. But yeah, it's just a pain in the ass. But saying that, you know, I haven't actually tried this game online yet but I'm sure there's going to be people on there who's just going to be trying to ram everyone. Because people are like that with, uh, don't matter what racing game it is, cars, bikes, anything. People just seems to find it funny just to, to ram e each other rather than race properly. I do keep finding it weird that our tyre wear, despite the fact the rear tyre is in like the, the, the 20%, like performance wise left, is still looks pretty cold the the tires don't seem to the the temperature of the tires don't seem to well that graphic doesn't seem to me to be working properly because if my rear tire was as cold as it is meant to be i think we would be struggling for grip but i don't seem to be rear tire feels fine front tire seems to be an optimal temperature because it's green Obviously, if it goes red, then it's overheating. But according to that, my rear tyre is cold. Which I don't believe. So, I think that's another bug. 
So it's something else that needs looking at. But, uh, we we got like a almost a six second lead now, five and a half seconds, and uh, we're coming to the last section of the track, and that is going to be race one done and dusted. We had a crash in this one. Little stupid mistake by me. But uh, we managed to get into the lead again. And then the second place crashed out. So that built my lead back up again. So if we hadn't have crashed, imagine what our lead would be now. Probably around 9 seconds. And there we go. First race done. Completed. Two races to go, so that is going to be 25 points for us. Is it pretty much the MotoGP? Yeah, pretty much. Almost. There we go, leading after one race. Off to the next one. So here we go. What can we do this time? Alton Park. Here we go. Not a great start. I mean, we're down in seventh, but... We're still seventh. Okay, I thought I was getting through then, but uh, didn't quite manage yet. Still not able to get through. Can I go around the outside? Uh, that's probably not going to work. Oh, yeah, well, okay. That's sixth. He's a bit of slipstream tiny bit. We've got to go left. Oh, bit of a moment. Bit of a moment. Let me come up to Shell Oils. Not the best of exits through there. But, that's another position. Oh, chicane, chicane, chicane. Well, that's uh, fifth position. We've got another chicane coming up soon. Later on the brakes, later on the brakes, later on the brakes. Can't tip in though. So uh, fourth position for the time being. And now that is third. I've gone wide though. No, he's not back through. Okay. Third position. Let's see if we can stay with these guys. Coming to the... Oh, I was going to be hitting the back then, but we were fine. We're going to... Oh, bit of a wheelie. Going to end lap one in third position. Run to the line. All over the kerb. Through dear leap. And yeah, that is third position. A bit of a gap is emerging to uh, second place and the leader. It's over a second to the leader. It's 0.7 to second place. So we've got some work to do at the moment. Out of Cascades and on the run down to the next corner before Shell Oils. Okay, we've uh, gained quite a bit of time there. So we are pretty much with second place. But not quite. Came to the chicane. The AI used to be pretty... Oh, 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 I didn't get a penalty for that. See, there's, there's sometimes you, you don't get a penalty when you should. As we go into second place. And then there's other places where you shouldn't get a penalty, but you do. Bizarre. Very bizarre. But anyway, we are second. And the guy who's leading is not really... He wasn't in the top two or the top three even in the previous race. So even if we finish as we are, we will extend our lead in the championship. But we don't want to finish where we are. We want to get into the lead. But not this lap. It's not going to happen yet. End of lap two. We are second. Through Dare Leap again. Okay. Bikes are right at the moment. Doesn't feel too bad. 
out of Cascades again up towards Island Bend and we got Slipstream here and that is not the lead that is not the lead wasn't able to get through safely not without having a collision if it was the last lap I may have gone for that move but uh see we just picked up a penalty for using the curb there Ooh. yeah we picked up a penalty for using the curb yet we cut the corner on the previous lap and didn't get anything bizarre anyway we are into the lead just about we have got two and a half laps to go let's see if we can pull away a bit Yeah, we are pulling away a little bit at the moment. Through Druids and another little wheelie. Always seem to wheelie over that little bump. Okay, we're not pulling away as much as I thought we would. Two laps to go. We lead by about half a second over the line. We've got that tiny penalty, which is, isn't is even a tenth of a second. So we haven't really got to worry about that. Unless it's going to be a photo finish. That's the only time we're going to have to worry about a penalty like that. But at the moment, we don't need to worry because it is going up the gap. 0.7 at the moment. Through Island Bend for the penultimate time. Down towards Shell Oils. Out we go. Yeah, that wasn't so good through that chicane there. I kind of got the entrance wrong. So, uh, yeah, we lost a bit of time there. Lost a couple of tenths of a second because of that mistake. Yeah, you've got to go careful using the inside curbs on this game. Ooh! Oh, that was close to a big crash. We got some air there. We got some air. Didn't add to our... Oh, we added to our penalty there for using the inside curb. That's over a tenth now. But it's fine because the, uh, the gap is... What's the gap? Oh, it's half a second. That's not that great, if I'm honest. It wasn't the best of laps, that one. But it is the final lap now. As long as we can keep it above uh, 0 0.121 of a second, we'll be absolutely fine. And then we just got one race to go, which will be Imola, which is a great circuit. I'm actually looking forward to racing around there on uh, a race modified Yamaha R6. I think it'll be quite good. Enjoyed the race around there on the uh, Gixxer. So I think on the R6 is going to be a good race as well. But we shall see. We shall see. We've got to finish this one first. Could still go wrong, but providing we can hit our markers for the remainder of this lap. We should be okay. Gap is just over a second, but that will start coming down again as we get towards the end of the lap. Oh, again, just clip the inside curb. Right, don't hit the inside curb through here. It's fine. Much better. Didn't get some air that time. Stay away from the inside curb. Yeah, absolutely fine. A bit of a wheelie again, just for good measure. And down towards the last couple of corners. Through Lodge. And just got Deer Leap. And we will be done. We are going to win here for our second race. That's another 25 points. Job done. One race to go. It's going to be quite difficult for them to beat me, I think, now. Because I don't think they've been that consistent in the first two couple of races. So, uh, yeah, okay. We've got quite a big margin now. 
So just got to score some points. But shouldn't be too, too difficult to do. So here we go for the final race. Imola. Let's have it. Let's try and get a good start if we can. Here we go. Didn't feel like a too bad a start initially. And no, it was a good start. Fourth position at the moment. May take third. May take second by turn one. Oh, collision. Collision. Oh, no, that's lost me positions there. Okay, that didn't work out well, but we're still in fourth, so that's fine. Luckily, we both stayed on as well. Uh, we've got to try and uh, get back to the front. Oh, oh, he's a little wide. He's a little wide. Yeah, we got him. We've got him. That's third position. In fact, we got a good run out of the previous corner. The lead changes. Oh, we've got a better exit there. Through we go. Second position. And towards Aqua Minerale. Oh, come on. That's the next chicane. This next chicane has always, uh, always been a bit of a trouble for me. But that was fine. In fact, the leader was a little bit wide on the exit, but... That has affected him a little bit as we use Slipstream as well. Oh, no, that's going to be a bit too tight through there. That's fine. That's fine. Second position at the moment. If he wins, or if they win, I should say, then, uh, oh, no, we're, we're into the lead, into the chicane. Okay, we lead by half a second. End of lap one. We've got a half a second lead. See if we can build on that. But yeah, this is the, the final category in the European League. So we've either gone to the Asian one next or the American League. Um, I'll probably just do them in order. And then once we've done them, we will be off to the World League. I'm assuming when you get to the World League, that's when you start doing a bit of endurance racing as well. I know the uh, the final league, um, there's an endurance section on that. We haven't pulled away much at the moment from second position. Still only half a second. Oh, we pulled it a little bit there. See what they do when we go into this chicane. I don't want to outbreak myself into here. We need to get it pretty spot on if we can. Yeah, that was fine. Gap still about 0.7. Okay, get it stopped, get it stopped, get it stopped, get it stopped. We could have been a little bit later on the brakes actually down there. Could have been a little bit later, but the gap is over a second. Into the chicane. Lap two of five is going to be done. There we go. On to lap three. We've got a 1.1 second lead. Kirsten Marwitz is in second place. Johnny Glamour in third. What a name that is. That felt pretty good, that first sector. Just start to get into some sort of rhythm. Yeah, looking good so far. And I think we're definitely going to win this championship. Hasn't actually been too difficult, this one. Even on 120%. 
like I said, this isn't a bike that I actually own. You just get given this one to use. And uh, it's obviously a decent bike as well. I'm, I'm sure we, we could have pretty much won on any of the bikes if it had given us a choice. That was a little bit too early on the brakes there. But just want to make sure we get it stopped. Come to the end of lap three. We will have two laps to go next. And this will be the end of the European League. A good way to finish with a little championship. And we go on to another league after this. We're looking forward to getting into a different league. Obviously, we'll have a different set of tracks to, to try and learn. Um, is there going to be any that we don't know coming up? There, there will be in the American League. There will be some in there that I don't know. Um, so I'm definitely going to have to do some learning from them. I just have to do a bit of time trial before we get to those tracks just so that I can learn them. Oh. Get a penalty for that going on the green. Yeah, we've uh, pretty much got a two second lead. It's just under at the moment, but um, there it goes, two seconds. This bike feels good around here. I mean, the, the jigs have felt good around here as well, which is why we managed to win despite being knocked off on the first lap. So, always pretty comfortable around here, even on previous ride games. Always enjoyed coming around uh, Imola. It's just this chicane, I've always had troubles with that. I always uh, outbreak myself or just break a little bit too early, but I'd rather break a little bit too early for that one. Because if you outbreak yourself, you're either going to go straight across and get a massive penalty or end up losing the front if you still try and turn in. As if you break a little bit too early, at least you can let the brake off a little bit and just roll in. Roll in through the corner. So we've got one lap to go. This chicane I've never really had too much trouble with. Just that middle one. But yeah, one lap to go. And that will be the European League completed. Haven't had too many issues with this uh, this little championship that we're doing right now. Apart from the crash at the Nurburgring GP circuit, but that being a, a circuit that I do really enjoy, and I've always been pretty quick around there. It's uh, yeah, it didn't take too long to get back into the lead, and then when I did get into the lead, the second place pretty much crashed straight after that. I guess that the closest finish so far has been the previous race at Alton Park. But it was still a win. Right, half a lap to go. So been a pretty decent lap. Let's see if we can break a little bit later for the next chicane. Yeah, that was a bit better. That was a bit better. It's actually Johnny Glamour who is in second place now. He has demoted uh, Molwitz down to third. Nothing stupid down here. Get the bike stopped. In fact, this may well be my fastest lap of the race. So according to that, I haven't got much performance left in the rear tyre. But... Feels absolutely fine. I mean, the fact that we are potentially going to do our fastest lap of the race on the final lap with a pretty knackered rear tyre. What's it going to be? 51. 51.6 was that? Yeah, 51.664, fastest lap of the race. That was my final lap as well. So, uh, 
We got it well tuned in there. Fastest lap and we won by 6.2 seconds. So, very good. Championship, we got all the three wins and won by a big margin. And we are now the regional champion. Collect all the cups of a regional league. Done. Do we get a bike for that or... Get quite a lot of credit, so... That's fine. Okay. Do we win anything for that? No. Nothing at all. Okay. Well, that's it. That's the European League completed. So we've got the Asian League and the American League to go. I'll probably do the Asian one next. Um, and then do the American one after that. But anyway, guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe and to wash your hands. See you.